Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Status, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we have a great video. This is pure satire. Nothing here is to be taken seriously. We're just gonna make fun of some medical terminology. The idea behind this video came from an article called Political Rhetoric Glossary by Dr. Thomas Sowell. The first half of the video is me quoting Dr. Thomas Sowell. And then in the second half, I will use what I've learned and apply it onto those fancy meaningless medical terms. This article was written in 1985 United States, so if we change the time and location, I know that sometimes you will not get the jokes. So let's start. Every field has its own special words and expressions, which others find hard to understand. Politics is no exception. For those who have difficulty understanding the strange ways words are used by politicians and the media, here is a glossary translating political rhetoric into plain English. Again, these are jokes, okay? Dr. Thomas Sowell continues. A crisis. Any situation you want to change. Non-judgmental. Blaming society. Compassion the use of taxpayers' money to buy votes. Insensitivity, objection to the use of tax money to buy votes. Simplistic, an argument you disagree with but you cannot respond to. Demonstration, a riot by people you agree with. Mob violence, a riot by people you disagree with. Funding, money from the government. Commitment, more money from the government. Docudrama, a work of fiction about famous people. Autobiography, a work of fiction about yourself. Federal budget, a work of fiction about government spending. <laughs> People's Republic, a place where you do what you are told to or you get shot. National Liberation Movement, an organization trying to create a People's Republic. Ah! You want some ice for that laceration? Policy Research, looking for statistics to support the position that you have already taken. A proud people, chauvinists you like. Bigots, chauvinists you don't like. Innovation, something new. New innovation, something new by someone who does not understand English. Competency, competence as described by the incompetent. All right, let's apply the same methodology to make fun of medical terminology. Let's translate medical rhetoric into plain English. Idiopathic, pathology described by an idiot. Essential, a buzzword that you say when you don't know the cause. Psychogenic, a fancy word to disguise the doctor's own ignorance. Functional, I do not know the cause. Psychosomatic, a symptom that the physician could not explain. Dyspnea, Shorts of breath when the doctor likes you. SOB, shortness of breath when the doctor does not like you. Tachypnea, dyspnea for the sophisticated. Provisional diagnosis, I know the actual diagnosis, but I don't want to get sued. Empiric treatment, this is how we do it, and please don't ask me why. Electronic health records, I don't know how to take a history. Innovative medicine, I don't know how to do a physical exam. Evidence-based, based on the personal opinions of third-party bunch of experts sitting in an echo chamber who pay no price for being wrong. Alternative medicine, I do not understand medicine, but I want to use the word in order to sell more books. Modern medicine, anything that tells you that your juice cleanser is useless. PR, public relations or per rectum which are synonymous. Digital rectal exam is unethical. I am so grossed out and I do not want to stick my finger up that sphincter. Infection control. I need to wear gloves and a hazmat suit because the patient stinks. Malingering. I am omniscient and I know that the patient is faking it for personal gain. Stress. A red herring that explains every single instance of my behavior. Or... A buzzword that explains the trigger for every single disease. Example, why did this patient with G6PD deficiency experience a hemolytic attack? I don't know, just call it stress. I need professional help. I became a drug addict at the hospital and I got caught injecting lidocaine into my vein. Enlightened. Virtue signaling my verbal virtuosity, not to be confused with my patient's retinal artery tortuosity. Thalamic pain syndrome, any chronic pain that I cannot explain. Iatrogenic, it was my fault, but I do not want to admit it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Heterophis, heterophis. Redundant redundancy. Lua, lua. Verbal diarrhea. Also, I'm starting to think that you have Wernicke's aphasia. Physician. A person who can heal you. Healthcare provider. A faceless person hired by the hospital to refill prescriptions, fill the paperwork, and check the boxes. Fried egg appearance. A circle inside a circle. Onion skin appearance. A circle inside a circle when the freaking pathologist is allergic to eggs. Holistic approach. I couldn't figure out the diagnosis. Your body is Bible. An atheist author trying to increase sales. Bioethics. Allocating resources to people that I like. Patients come first. Magic words said before the doctor neglects the patient. Mutatis mutandis. The opinions of the people who write the guidelines. All right, enough with my dad jokes. In the next video, we'll talk about biochemistry of hormones and we'll talk about the G proteins. It's going to be an epic video. If you want to master acid base disorders instead of just saying stuff like idiopathic, check out my acid base imbalance course at medicosisperfectionist.com and you can get a 30% discount towards anything on my website. Use promo code SAVE30 at checkout. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.